Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to a video on understanding anchors and pivots in Unity. In one of our last video, we saw some basic steps that you can follow to create a scalable UI. And in those steps, one step was to set the anchors to the corner of the UI element. And in this video, we're going to understand why setting the anchor was able to help the UI scale. So when you add a UI element to your scene, so let's add a button uh, button okay so you can see that there are four triangles on the center of the screen these four triangles are the anchors and there is a small circle at the center of the ui which is your pivot point we'll see about the anchors first then we'll see about pivots so anchors are basically position of the button corresponding to the parent game object so in our case, the parent game object is the canvas. And if the canvas resizes, the position of the anchor will also change. As you can see, when you select the UI element, there is a component called rect transform. And inside the rect transform, there is position X, position Y, width and height. And width and height is basically the width and height of the UI element. This position X and position Y is basically the distance of the UI element from the anchor. So since the anchor is in the center of the screen, if you set the position X to 0 and position Y to 0, the UI is also at the center of the screen. Now in this case, the anchor, all four anchors are in the center of the screen. So if you want to change the anchor points, you can click on the icon here and you can see there are some anchor presets. So if the anchor is set on the left top corner, the distance from the anchor to button will always remain constant. So if the canvas scales on the left side, this distance from the anchor to button will remain same. So if the screen is basically shrinking from the left and goes like this, then the button will go outside the screen. But if the screen is shrinking from the left side, and since the anchor is also on the left, so you can see that the button is also moving along with the screen. Similarly, if you set the anchor to right top corner and then scale the canvas from the right side, the button moves. So basically, setting your anchor point is very important depending on how your uh, device screen is going to scale. One thing that you would have noticed in the examples of setting the anchor to the corner is that the button did not resize even when the button was moving to a different position. So like, ex for example, now the anchor is set to the right top corner. If we move the canvas here, the button moves with the canvas, but it doesn't resize. Now, this might be a problem when you shift from a large screen to small screen, the, all the UI elements will basically appear enlarged. So you can use all these presets, which are orange in color, and basically like the left top corner, top center, right top corner, uh, left middle, left bottom corner. All these anchors can be used for UIs that does not require scaling and requires to be in a fixed position corresponding to a corner or center. Now, if you want to make UIs that are basically scalable, then you have to use the stretch option. Now, similar to the anchor points in the corner, the stretch option can also be based on a side. For example, if you select stretch from left, so if the left side of the screen stretches, the button will also scale with it. If you want the button to stretch in all direction, then you have to select the stretch in all direction anchor. So the anchors are basically distributed to the corner of the screens. And you should notice one more thing that when you select the anchor points, the options in the rect transform also change. Like if you select the anchor on the left top corner, you can give the UI's X and Y position from the anchor point, and then you can specify the width and height of the UI element. But if you select stretch in all directions, you can only enter the distance of the UI from the anchor point. So these are the corners of the UI from the anchor points. Now, if you scale the canvas, the button will basically scale in all direction. So this way, by adjusting the anchor positions, you can adjust and scale your UI element. Now, next comes the pivot. Now, in this case, the pivot is at the center. The pivot defines the axis along which your button is going to scale or rotate. So now the pivot is at the center. So if you scale in the x-axis, you can see that the button is scaling in both directions. 
and now if you shift the pivot to the corner x corner and you can see the position has also changed and now if you scale it will scale from left to right similarly if you rotate now uh, it will rotate along the left corner so if we reset the rotation to 0 and the pivot to 0.5 and now rotate it it will rotate around the center so you should make the changes whatever is required to the pivot of a ui element before adjusting the anchor positions and the rect transforms so this was the basics of anchor and pivots in unity ui if you have any other questions you can leave them in the comment box below thank you and see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share